what do you hope to see at our Grad Film Festival 2018? Um, I hope to see some great work. I hope to see teams coming together and telling their stories with their passionate and pure craft because they've spent um, four years learning it and um, we would like to see all that they have learned put together uh, and measured in a way that shows their creative talent. Um, I, I don't expect entertainment because I know this is not the genre for entertainment, but it's for pure storytelling, which is so rare. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Ma'am, you've worked in one of the short films. Um, so how was your experience working with the team? I was so impressed. Oh my goodness, uh, half my uh, um, what films from the industry weren't so organized. In fact, uh, so often the directors didn't, um, uh, didn't tell me the story until I came um, to the, the, sh the shoot. And here they had uh, everything planned to the last detail and uh, everyone was working with silence and yet there was a joy and there was such clarity about what they needed to do and what they wanted to do. And there was such coordination and order. I was really, really impressed. I, and if all the teams are doing this, hats off to them. I think the industry is going to love working with them. Ma'am, four out of eight films this year have been made by our young women filmmakers. So what are the opportunities available for women in the industry? Um, opportunities are boundless. I mean, if you have the talent and if you have the skill, sky's the limit. Uh, if you don't have the talent or the skill and you're looking for a place, there is no place for you here. It's like um, school level sports and Olympics. You got to be Olympic standard to get into the industry. So. Um, for all the women out there, study, work, gain your skills, gain your confidence, have your craft so strong that you will be sought after. And uh, Anapurna Studios, as you see, has uh, women working everywhere. And we've been working for a gen few generations now. And uh, we encourage women. Um, I don't think we distinguish between men or women. If you have the skill, you have the talent, you have the place on the team. And I see it now working in Bombay, working in uh, Tamil Nadu, working in Kerala. Women are everywhere. And the more women who are willing to work and confident to work, the better this place will be for women. Ma'am, a small piece of advice that you'd want to give to a graduate stepping into the industry. Find your song, meaning find something special that you can give. You have um, spent so many years training. You've spent um, a lot of effort and time on your grad films. You've learned to work in teams. You've learned your skill and your craft. Now remember, um, we value you at AISFM, your teachers, your faculty, your management, your classmates, everybody values you here because we understand what you've been through, but the industry won't know. Um, yes, you can say I have a degree, but for the industry, they want to see your work on screen. Um, so be willing to start with small things, do the small things really well, prove yourself, and in a few years, they will gain trust in your work, and then you'll get to do the big things. So my um, words of guidance are be willing to do small things well before you get on to big things. Wishing you all the very best. Mama, last question, Telgu. Uh, media and entertainment industry law, education going to be Raymond Kunharu. E column law, media and entertainment law, uh, profession kaaval ante, education chala mukhyam. Training, time uh, from the minute go, perfect you have to know your craft. Uh, anni anni, um, 
చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది సో బెటర్ టు గెట్ అ గుడ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ దెన్ గోయింగ్ సో ఎవరికి ఛాన్స్ అడుగు అవసరం లేదు దెర్ ఈస్ అ జాబ్ ప్రొఫైల్ వేకెన్సీ అవైలబుల్ యూ కెన్ గో ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఫర్ ద జాబ్ బికాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ యువర్ ట్రైనింగ్ యూ హ్యావ్ యువర్ స్కిల్ చాలా చాలా ముఖ్యం అండ్ ఐ థింక్ మోర్ అండ్ మోర్ యంగ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ ఇటువంటి ఎడ్యుకేషన్ కోసం చాలా ముఖ్యం Thank you so much, ma'am. It is a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Hello, sir. So, um, your films have been uh, path-breaking and they revolutionized storytelling in the Telugu cinema. So, how important is it for, you know, young filmmakers to experiment with different narrative? Could you give us a few words of that? It's, uh, it's very important. I mean, uh, uh, if important is a, a smaller word, actually. It's, it's, it's the, that's the main ethos of a creative art. You have to be different. You have to be creative. You have to be... De- Uh, telling stories that have never been told that's the fundamental um, ethos of a creative art so filmmaking is one in like visual media so um, it's always uh, you always have to actually thrive for something that uh, people have have not seen one and one is um, socially relevant wherever you are your place your uh, uh, your surroundings and then you should have a signature like um, uh, as a filmmaker you should be a, uh, people should recognize that this is your style a new style and then uh, a film definitely should have a uh, a longevity it has to live for even even after some years or uh, even after your children watch it should be like you should be proud and they should understand and also a universal concept like any any language barrier should be broken that's that's th- that's some primary criteria of a film so everyone has to be in that and that's that's what i define as a good film so, uh, being from a film school you will relate to this moment of young filmmakers stepping out into the industry so could you share a few words of guidance on how they may fit in and continue to grow yeah this um, this is a great moment i i actually i relived it when i when i was watching those films it's a see what you like like in one of my films i said what uh, this is like more fun filled happily like exploring yourself and the future is what this is the most di- more difficult part and a purposeful part so you have to be <coughs> uh, uh conscious hard working and then probably uh, like i said earlier uh, you have to decide on what what you want to make so uh, I, i remember my graduation days that i had uh, i had a story to tell though. so i just, uh, that was my thesis script and i desperately wanted to say that story so i think a lot of you come out with those kind of dreams and then i wish you all the best so so, so how important is it to you and how did you find the balance between showing stark reality and entertainment in cinema that's um that will probably come into that style of film making so i i chose to be real uh, but uh, sometimes economics uh, doesn't allow it to be hardcore hundred percent real so you have to actually say it in a way that um, people understand and people enjoy so that's uh, in especially in Telugu uh, regional language in Telugu film industry uh, you are you have to walk that thin line so balance it out and then um, uh, I sometimes feel that I'm sure quoting more or I want to tell more reality and then sometimes I feel yeah it may not work so it's a, it's a constant battle and then uh, somehow you you get the films out and then uh, when they are appreciated you feel good but so it's a very it's a balancing act that you have to continuously do so that especially in telugu film industry thank you so much sir um it's it was a privilege having you with us today all right thank you media and entertainment industry lo education gurinchi meer em anukuntunnaru entertainment uh, i mean no, through movies yeah. see there are a lot of good things mana cheptam movie lo but then see i'm very frank and you know i can't uh, we don't make such movies now at present uh, there are good things then we end up saying more of giving ideas for you know what we are not supposed to do so that thing we have to change but um, i think there are a couple of movies good movies are there so education wise entha varuku how we educate uh, by saying the showing something bad also we do educate but people take it in a different idi uh, kabatti in in what way we are educating anadi we have to make movies uh, educating the people in sense that does not come into mainstream cinema kabatti 
అది కొంచెం ఇబ్బందిగా ఉంటుంది మన వాళ్ళు మెయిన్ స్ట్రీమ్ సినిమా కా కాకుండా వేరే సినిమాలైనా దే డోంట్ వాచ్ మచ్ సో అందుకని దీని ఎలా బ్యాలెన్స్ చేసి మనం చేయాలన్నది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రియలీ డూ ఇట్ వీఆర్ నా ఇంకా మనం ఇంకా అంత వీఆర్ నాట్ డూయింగ్ ఇట్ సో అందువల్ల దే హ్యావ్ టు వీ ప్రీచ్ అండ్ ఇట్ లైక్ యు నో మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది టైమ్ వీ ప్రీచ్ బట్ యాక్చువల్లీ అది యు నో ఇట్ డజంట్ అదేమవుతుందంటే మీతో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద సాంగ్స్ ఆర్ అదర్ థింగ్స్ అది ఆడియన్స్ మర్చిపోతూ ఉంటారు సో ఇట్స్ క్వైట్ డిఫికల్ట్ బట్ ఐ ఫీల్ ప్రతి ఒక్కళ్ళు ద యునో దే సినిమాలో ఒక మంచి ఇవి ఉంటే అది వాళ్ళు దే హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ దే షుడ్ టేక్ ఇట్ ఓకే సో మచ్ మ్యామ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ లవ్ హాయ్ సార్ ఆస్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అన్నపూర్ణ ఫ్యామిలీ యూ ఆల్వేస్ సపోర్ట్ అవర్ గ్రాట్ ఫిల్మ్ ఫెస్టివల్ నాట్ మెనీ ఫ్రమ్ ఆర్ ఇండస్ట్రీ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద షార్ట్ ఫిల్మ్ జానం you have been to film school so could you share what you look forward to see at ais film grad film festival 2018 the short film genre is a very different genre to feature films we're all used to watching feature films in a theater and you have to watch it in a with a very different mindset realize that uh, depending on the time 20 minutes 15 minutes whatever the short film length is that almost trying to tell you know a large a large scale story in a much shorter format and i think it it requires a certain amount of knowledge of that uh, format of films to be able to appreciate it or to be able to understand it uh, having said that i think it's the most important step to making feature films because uh, that shorter burst of you know your uh, your creative juices coming out and making a 15 to 20 minute film i feel that really 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 helps you to then plan a feature film i did four to five of them before my first one and i think it's the most important thing to do and i'm so glad they're doing it with so much educated talent pouring in the film industry how do you think it will change our films in the coming years so, so, sorry to repeat that. with so much educated talent pouring in the film industry how do you think it will change our films in the coming years you know i think now it's all about technique and only honing your skills and having a lo- uh, an approach to cinema and i think institutes like asfm and film institutes all over the world they give you that educated approach to films uh, i think before look at it when my dad and granddad started it was a very heart heartful approach there was no educated approach to it and i think with the amount the the, la- the scale of our industry we need to be very careful because in and num- the the numbers of a uh, feature film have gone so high that you know risks are very high and i feel that an educated approach to it gives a certain security to a feature film or, a, or wh- whatever that body of or product you're making and an educated approach to anything is good in life i feel it's it's then the best way to approach anything and i think if institutes like this are making that happen so it's great to see our cinematography al- alumni uh Samir worked in your last project hello how was your experience working with new talent he was really really good and to be honest i've uh, ps vinod our dop so vinod sir is a really hard tasking dop he's very hard on every shot has to be perfect and i know samir started off as the third or fourth assistant he was not really uh, given anything important but by the end of the film he was shooting a shot for me and vinod sir would be in uh, di and samur samir would be shooting the actual the actual scene and i was really impressed because you know to progress that much in in the very first film is a, is a is a great achievement and uh, yeah samir was really good and it was great to see that happen from us too and i really look forward to seeing that happen a lot my last question was that will you consider working with one of our filmmakers of course i al- i already hear that my brother is my brother has heard a script of one of our students and they apparently it's going to happen that's incredible that's so so nice to see and I, I, it's bound to happen it, it's going to happen very soon i'm in fact uh, i've already told my mom please if they need if if there's anything interesting please tell me we'd love to we'd love to work on it. it's exciting it's exciting to hear new ideas from younger from the young i mean someone around my age and to work from with someone from our school would be like a dream come true for my grandfather so it's 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 really great thank you so much sir it was lovely talk Mom, you've been a film school student yourself and you've done some outstanding work and always encouraged new talent. What do you hope to see at our grad film festival? Um, just being here is nostalgia for me. I, 
I think just putting uh, a system together for filmmakers is fantastic because India is far behind in film schools and offering what we are one of the biggest filmmakers in the world and we don't have a way to teach our kids how to make these films and I think uh, uh, you know Annapurna International Film School is doing a fantastic job with that I get really excited because I don't have to think I mean it's like I'm sitting on the other side today as you said I was in a film school and it was you know when we were showing our films we were always so nervous but sitting on the other side I realized how important it is to have an education and I um, in films and I am super excited I'm sure they're gonna be great films and I'm really looking forward to see how innovative and creative um, the, the films are gonna be with so many platforms available for storytelling and the expanded horizon of opportunities for young filmmakers, is your production house venturing into producing creative content for these different platforms? I'm a filmmaker. I'm a movie maker. I'm a maker of film, whatever, however you put it. It doesn't matter if it's on television, um, if it's on a medium of film or uh, digital, or, you know, now I'm doing web series, so I'm across board. That's what people make fun of me, saying that you're not leaving any place for anybody. See, I'm an artist, and, an, and I'm a creative person. Um, so every day I have to reinvent myself. And sometimes I feel like the boundaries that we have drawn for women in film is kind of limited. So I'm trying to see where I can break those barriers and those lines and find other mediums because when you're an artist, it doesn't matter saying that I'll only do film, I'll only do this, nothing like that. You'll do everything that satisfies your creative uh, instincts. So yeah, I'm everywhere. I mean, you'll be happy to know that four out of eight films this year have been made by young filmmakers. So do share your thoughts on professional opportunities for women in the industry. Absolutely. When I first started about six years ago, I was the only woman on set. Now I have my makeup artist, my production designer. Uh, I encourage my assistant directors. I encourage women because, you know, it's as simple. It's yin and yang. You need both sides of the coin. And I'm not just catering to the men of the film industry or the audience. It's so important to have a, a woman's point of view and energy because you get to see the film on a whole. And um, I think it's time that uh, the family started encouraging girls with their dreams. And I see a lot of women today, which is which makes me very, very, very happy. Um, and and uh, you have to always get to the next step, you know, because people are, especially for women here, we were expected to do everything at a certain age. You, know, you get married at a certain age, you get a job at a certain age. By this age, you should finish your 12th, you know. Oh my God, you have areas in your engineering. Everything is such a big deal here. It's not. Life is too short or too long if you're going to live a boring life, you know. Uh, you've got to make, make it exciting and livable and full of life. And that happens only when you do what you love. And man, woman, straight, yellow, green, blue, I don't care. Everybody should be making uh, creative content, uh, whatever field they're in, because that side of your brain just releases so much more of your happy hormones that everybody should be encouraged. So we live in a better and a happy place. Do you have any upcoming projects to talk about and would our alumni find opportunity with your projects? Absolutely. Actually, I was just mentioning that uh, my next film that I'm, uh, that I'm acting in called Wife of Ram is directed by a, by a film school uh, student. He went to Ramanaidu Film School. So I'm always looking because I feel that you're so eager to tell the story and you're most authentic. Because once you come into the industry, then you'll get a little uh, adulterated. Oh, am I making a commercial film? Am I making, who am I catering to? None of that. You should be open and right now is when you're most true to your art, I feel. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm always looking for people. And um, who is the hero the story you have a story and I will back you up like no other but uh, finding that right story and that synergy you know my acting coach always used to call it um, it's not just finding a great script it's also the attitude of the person because you have a career marriage you have a career marriage with this person for um, the 
a long time, like a year is a long time. You as filmmakers, I believe that we come together with highest passion and working day and night, uh, you know, for a very short period of time for a product which is done for a year and letting it go to create the biggest impact. So obviously we're gonna have loggerheads, we're gonna agree to disagree and vice versa. But um, finding, uh, being grounded and knowing that you're fighting for the film and not at each other. Because uh, too many times that comes into play and you got to know what is the bigger picture for yourself, you know? And uh, yeah, opportunities are always there if you, if you stay the course. Mom, so do share any words of guidance for our graduates who are stepping into the industry. Um, I want to first of all congratulate you for finishing your uh, four years of intense filmmaking. Uh, it's not one subject, it's many. And I hope uh, you found your voice uh, where you want to s speak with, let it be with cinematography or acting or directing or music or uh, production design, whatever it is, find your voice and know that diligently working is what is going to get you where you want to go. You're not gonna wake up one morning and somebody's gonna give you a movie. It doesn't happen for me today. You know, I have to wake up every morning and see what it is that I can do to make that next project happen. But stay the course, stay the course. As filmmakers, we work in the dark. It's a tunnel that we go through without a light at the end of it. But trust me that there is light at the end of the tunnel and follow your heart, you can't go wrong. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. So it's been a privilege having you here with us. As a young filmmaker, you must have faced many challenges to reach where you are. So could you share a few words of advice for young filmmakers? Uh, don't fix yourself for time, you know. Uh, I, have to c I have to become a director uh, by the year 2020 or something. Just do your work. Because this is an industry where, uh, you know, it asks too much of your time. So just don't fix, your, uh, you know, fi fix yourself for time uh, target. What do you look for in a young professional when you hire a team? The commitment. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, sir, this is not a trick question, but just out of curiosity. Would you be able to gauge our technicians by watching their grad film and their ability to deliver what you expect as a director? Or would the process be completely different for you to gauge whether they can work for you? See, it works both ways. Uh, when you make a short film, you might be really good at it. But when it comes to working on a film, maybe you just, uh, you're not that great. Sometimes your short film is not really great, but when, you, when it comes to a, f a film, feature film, you might be uh, outstanding. Because w when you try to tell a story in 20 minutes, you're always restricting yourself. So when you do it in a, on a bigger scale, and when your thoughts are bigger, then uh, working on a film should define you uh, what you are not. Yeah, it has a scale where, uh, you know, it, it just helps you develop some confidence within yourself that, yeah, you can handle the, uh, uh, the 24 crafts of uh, filmmaking. But it shouldn't be the only one. Sir, one last question, and this is in Telugu. Uh, media and entertainment industry law, education, Gurinchi Mi Reman Kudnaru. I was able to get a lot of opportunities. I was able to get a lot of opportunities. I was able to get a lot of opportunities. I was able to get a lot of we have opportunities. We have standards. We have mentioned standards. We have Hyderabad law, ASF. So, really happy. We have a lot of industry. We have a lot of opportunities. At least in your backyard. I'm telling you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Hello, sir. Hi. So, uh, thank you so much for coming today and for your support for the Grad Film Festival. So, uh, so you have made uh, some really cool ads previously, and then can you tell us what do you look forward to most in a crowd film festival? Surprise. 
uh, because because there are so many films outside and it's so easy to get influenced by them that I'm looking at people who who, who surprise the audience um, at the same time who are very rooted who are not insecure in their own uh, where they come from and if that comes on screen super so we hear that you have started your own company this year so congratulations so could you give us a glimpse into the scenario of Indian advertising industry in 2018 See, Indian advertising and films both are at the same juncture now. Uh, with the kind of cameras we have and, and, and how simple it's become, um, not easy, simple it's become uh, to, to take a camera and shoot whatever you want. I think this is the age of underdogs. So earlier you used to have big agencies that, that dictated, but uh, now if you, if you are open to collaboration, then, then the smaller guys have a big chance to win. And um, ASFM offers a degree in advertising. So could you give us your perspective on how a degree would prepare them and you know, uh, any other guidance you would like to give to the advertising students in particular? See, I, I believe that about college, uh, whether it's advertising or films or whatever. College is the place where you make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, this, this is your last chance to make mistakes. So I think um, everyone should be encouraged to to tread territories they have not gone before, make a lot of mistakes, learn because there's no one um, paying you for doing an ad, right? So you could go wrong and that's completely all right. Uh, but once this, uh, this gets over, then, then you won't be able to do what, uh, you know, what otherwise you would, you would do in a college, so. So uh, we know that your daughter is studying in ASFM. So how is she enjoying her course and how do you find her progressing? Not daughter, uh, my sister studies here. Yeah. So she's doing well. Sir, I have a small question. So, in the media entertainment industry, what do you think about education? See, these are all, like I said, uh, four years that you put into this. Um, this, is the, this is the best way to learn. Otherwise, uh, when, when much younger, um, we used to struggle. It would take about 20 years for us to to figure out what to do. Now you guys are learning it in four and you, you are absolutely ready. So I think that time that you take for experience is, is coming down. So you should enjoy. Uh, this is the last time you'll maybe uh, enjoy in a college, so. <laughs>